the internet was convinced China's newest humanoid was human. But did it fool our reporter when they got to see it up close? This is Iron, created by Xping, the Chinese Tesla competitor known for electric vehicles, flying cars, and robots that are so real they need to be sliced open to prove they aren't human. And when Iron was unveiled, the internet kinda lost its mind. Some people were convinced this was just someone in a suit. So, naturally, Xping's CEO grabbed a knife and cut it open. Mashable reporter Amanda Yeo actually got to see Iron up close at a private demo. And yeah, it gets even weirder. So today, we're breaking down how a robot crossed the uncanny valley, why Xping designed it to look this human, and what this means for the future of humanoid robots. Xping is best known as a Chinese electric vehicle company, but lately they've been making some bold moves in humanoid robotics. As a part of their robotics division, they're working on a next-gen platform called Iron, a tall, soft-skinned humanoid robot designed to work in human environments with human proportions and a world built for humans. Xping says the goal isn't just to make a robot that moves like us, but one that feels familiar enough that people will actually feel comfortable with it around them. One aspect of the robot that seemed to stir up some conversation online was Iron's appearance. And more specifically, it's wide hips, slim waist, and very noticeable breasts. Which raised a pretty obvious question. Why would a robotics company design a robot like this? Xping's answer? Because humans are humans. The head of the robotics center says they're not making robots, they're making humans. Their logic is that humanoid robots feel warmer, more intimate, and more emotionally acceptable when they resemble us. And since different people have different body types, Xpeng wants iron to eventually come in different shapes, sizes, and yes, different sexes. I guess you could think of it like buying a car. Xping says one day you'll pick your robot's height, build, hair length, maybe even clothing, including full coverage soft skin so the robot feels warmer and more lifelike. In other words, this curvy design wasn't an accident. It's a test. Xping is trying to see how humans react to different body types before robots enter real world jobs. When Mashable reporter Amanda Yeo saw Iron up close, one of the first things she noticed was the skin. And yes, she actually got to touch it. She described it as feeling like a soft, stretchy knitted fabric closer to premium loungewear than anything robotic. Amanda even admitted she was a little jealous of Iron's outfit. If Xping ever releases a clothing line, she's first in line. But underneath that cozy exterior is a pretty wild structure. Xping told us Iron is built from the inside out like a human. Bones and muscles that give it shape, and the knitted skin layered with embedded sensors. And here's the part that surprised us. Xping says the demo Amanda attended was fully autonomous. The robot's movement patterns, the walking, the turning, even the tour guide animations were generated in real time by the model. In person, Amanda said Iron doesn't feel like someone in a suit. It feels mechanical, but in a strangely human way. The proportions, the textures, the moment-to-moment -moment shifts in posture, even when it's standing still, it felt like it was waiting for something. Part of why Iron exploded online is pretty simple. I mean, it looks like it stepped right out of a sci-fi movie. The slow, prowling walk, the body, it all feels very under the skin or ex machina. Or the white mesh detailing, total Westworld. Humanoid robots have always tapped into that sci-fi part of our brain. And it seems Xping leaned pretty hard into that. And that's because humans are hardwired to react to anything that looks almost but not quite human, also known as the uncanny valley. We just cannot look away. But here's the thing. Humanoid robots don't actually make a ton of engineering sense. Bipedal bodies tend to be unstable, inefficient, and more mechanically complicated. But humans keep building them anyway. And Xping's philosophy seems to explain why. They're designing robots not just for function, but for emotional compatibility. I guess the idea is if people trust humanoids, they'll adopt them faster. Although, I don't know if I agree. And if they adopt them faster, companies can scale production and bring the cost down. So what Xping is really testing is how ready we are for humanoid machines that don't just walk like us, but look like us. And whether that idea excites you or creeps you out, Iron is a preview of a future where the line between human and robot design gets thinner and thinner. But hey, what do you think about humanoid robots? Do they fascinate you? Creep you out? Both? Let us know in the comments.
And if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more stories on what the future holds.